Good morning, class. It is Friday, and I want to talk to you just briefly about this book right here, The Apology. Well, this book right here. So, in The Apology, Plato has Socrates basically defending himself against being sentenced to death. The Athenians don't really want to kill him, they just want to send him away, but Socrates, being Socrates, ends up annoying them so much that they want him dead. So if that's the case, what is he going to do, right? The Athenians want him dead. Is he going to run away? Is he going to stay? How does he justify either position? Well, that's really the question at the end of the apology. So what I want you and your reading groups to do is examine what Socrates uses to justify his position, which is basically he lets them kill him. So in order to do that, I want you to pick one of the following two questions to answer in your group essay. The first question is this one. Is the unexamined life really not worth living? Now Socrates says the unexamined life isn't worth living at the end of the Apologies. It's a very famous thing that he says there. But what does that mean? Oh, also, another thing. You're not allowed to use the phrase ignorance is bliss. Not even a little. You're not allowed to use that phrase. Why? Because most students say, oh, well, you know, like, ignorance is bliss, and you don't really understand what that means, and when you examine it, you realize that it doesn't really mean all that much in the first place, and that actually ignorance is not bliss. Uh, but you just say it because it's a thing that people say, and we pretend to believe it. So, you're not allowed to use that phrase. No ignorance is bliss. However, you are allowed to answer the next question, which is this one. Which do you think is more important? Is it more important to speak well, or is it more important to tell the truth? Right? Speaking well or speaking truthfully? This is a question about the difference between rhetoric and logic. So I want you to discuss this. Do you think that speaking well is ultimately better than being able to tell the truth? Do you think that telling the truth, regardless of how well you speak it, is always going to be the best thing to do, right? And don't just give an answer that you think I would like. I want to know what you think. What do you think the right answer to these questions would be? So in your group, pick one of these questions, and then write an essay that answers it. And I'll see you on Monday.